So you're asking me whether I would have been able to be a nurse through the normal, normal route. GCSEs, A-level, university, nursing. Forget it. Exams. I didn't even do an English exam. At 37, I was a healthcare support worker. At 43, I was assistant practitioner at Band 4. At 45, I became a student nurse. At 47, I'm now a fully qualified registered nurse. And without the support of uh, Howell Our Health Board, there's no way I would have been able to achieve this and uh, reach my goals and my dreams, really. All right, darling. What are you up to? I don't think the health board is looking for people with them. Um, loads of GCSEs or anything. At 16 you can start at the bottom of the room, you can be a domestic. At 18 you can be a healthcare support worker. Your application is all about if you come across as a caring person, you can show you're caring. Would I think it would be a piece of cake? No chance. Blood, sweat, tears, toil. I could cry now thinking about it to be honest. That is how much effort is taken to get the registered bit on that badge. A lot. I feel like I'm filling up, sorry. Yeah, you can do it because confidence is a massive thing as well, especially if you're a bit older and, like you said, no, no qualifications. You get the support. It makes you hungry. It makes you want to go and do more. Absolutely. It gives you that drive then just to get your head down in the books and, and on the wards and push it to the end. Really proud. <laughs> proud to my family, really. You know, you know I'm to my son and... You know, my, my wife's a, a nurse. For me to be a nurse now as well, because that means everything.